A service is the main component for how you'll scan your barcodes. Service creation can be as complex or as simple as you need. We're going to start with the basic steps and configurations in a record service. When you click on create a service, you'll be presented with several options for service types. For now, we're going to focus on the first of these, record scans. A record scan service will simply create a scan record of information about the barcode and app user scans. The first question asked of you involves whether you'd like to have scan records sent to our servers immediately, or if you'd rather have the data saved locally to the user's device. Most admins choose online in real time, so there's less manual involvement to receiving scan data. However, if you'll be using this service in an area with poor connectivity, you should probably choose to save on device and sync later. After naming the service and optionally giving it a description, you will be given the chance to add user access to this service. By selecting a user account, you are allowing this service to be shown on their device as an option for scanning their barcodes. You will then be given the choice to add questions. In our questions video, we talked about pre-creating questions, but as mentioned, you can also create new questions from this step of service creation by clicking add a question. Any question you've made available to all services will appear in the question bank to the right. From your question bank, you are able to drag and drop which user prompts you'd like included with every scan in this service. You'll need to place the question into the appropriate box corresponding with when you'd like the question to appear on the user's screen. As you'll see on the question tree, there's the option to add the question only in cases of a valid or invalid scan. The final step in question creation is the advanced settings configurations. These don't need to be changed at all if you're creating a simple report service, but exist for various needs and use cases that might require small changes in the app. Because these are advanced settings, we'll continue in a separate video on how these options work.